Good evening and welcome back again on to episode 3 of Resident Evil 4 and we're soon going to see one of the first bosses in the game so let's get into it. So first of all I'm just going to take out these two crows. Now we've already got all of the items in this area uh, we will be back here later on. I'm going to be heading along east this way. See this is unexplored area. There's a big open area here which is uh, something we'll get to soon. And again, this is going to be one of the quick time events, which I'm not keen on, but... God, I just hate those. I hate those events so much. I don't know why. Don't forget this uh, jewel up here. What is it? Yeah, spinal. So this is the sort of swampy area, area. Yeah, there's some tricky enemies here, so let's just get into it. Now there's plenty of bombs around as well, so what I want to do is take him out. I might actually head down here and try and lure. Should we? Yeah, let's try and lure this guy. Ah, he's going that way. Oh, there we go. So long, sucker. There's a snake there, so you got to be careful of this too, actually. Oh, and there's a guy here. What we'll do is we'll actually let him come to us. In fact, I'm going to jump down here and get this grenade. Now I've got to watch behind us because at some stage there will be a group of enemies coming there. So again, it's gone quiet for now, which is a good sign. And as I mentioned earlier, there are snakes. Yeah, we did manage to get it. We'll get an egg. Now this is where we've got to be a little bit careful. Oh, look here, there will be people coming this way. Where's the next guy? There he is. Just got him in time. So again, it's gone quiet, which is good. They are coming soon, I'm sure. There we go. Now, what we'll kind of want to do is get them grouped together to save on bullets. So loot them a little bit. I didn't quite avoid that. Got plenty of eggs, though. That was bad timing. Maybe playing a little bit loose there just because I've got those eggs as backup for health. Which you don't want to do. Yeah, I think we'll just use the white egg. Because the health does affect your movement. So as, lo as long as you're on the green bar, even if it's not full, that means your movement will be at its max. There we go. Again, that's not going to be everyone. You see the music starts off. I think there's another group of people coming. Yeah. So again, I think we'll go to shotgun. Again, bad timing. Dead anyway. I think that's everyone up this end. What you want to keep an eye out for, like I say, these stars are a treasure. So we want to go down the, the right side here. So first of all, I'm going to take out that uh, bomb. There we go, it's probably taken out the snake as well, it has. And then up top here, what you'll see is the nest, which has got, a, I think from what I remember, it's a pipe. Yeah, the antique pipe. That's good. There's another enemy there. Oh, there's an enemy there, so... Go back around this way. And hopefully he'll get lured to this bomb. Come on. Both of you at once, that'll be good. 
Nice. That worked out well. Often you only get the one of them. Okay, so there's a bomb there. That's good. And there was another enemy. I just can't see exactly where he is at the moment. There he is. That's fine. He's quite simple to take down. Leg shot. Kick. Slice. So that was a little bit sloppy earlier on with the groups I did. I could have played it a lot better in terms of not getting damaged. It was a little bit sloppy with that. Again, we'll have the eggs spare. And we kind of don't want them clogging up our infantry anyway. And there is a guy in here that should be coming out in a moment. There we go. That was a bit of a miss there. Right, that should be it. Don't think there's a snake in here, but we'll still... Well, there is. And they always give an egg. Now, it's not always the same type of egg. It is random. There is a golden egg as well, which are great to sell. I believe they only come from chickens. So, first of all, we're going to go up top here just to show you something. Of course, if you see that in the water, what would you go and do? Of course, you'll get in the smallest boat you can find in there. Roll your way across. So because we've picked up that yellow herb, what we want to do is in a moment, we will actually increase our overall health. And that's... Uh, I haven't got a red herb yet. Ah, oh, what am I doing? I had a yellow herb. Ah, oh, that was poor. Yeah, I should have mixed the yellow hair in with the green and red that I had already. I forgot I had that. What I wanted to do is just show you... Uh, a few people will know about this, but... If you go to the water... And just decide to randomly fire... And, oh, look, there's some fish. Maybe I can shoot the fish and get some fish back and sell them and... Do this and... Yeah. Bit of an easter egg there. If you manage to shoot into the water, you just get killed straight away. <laughs> But obviously we'll pretend that didn't happen, so we're going to jump in the boat, as you would when you see that giant uh, fish. And we'll get to the first boss. Okay, so first of all what you want to do is avoid these logs or trees that are in the middle of the water and then you want to fire this harpoon, I missed it there totally, and then the monster, I think it's called the Del Largo, um, will try and hit you into these rocks so avoid them again and as soon as you round you want to try and get the harpoon out. Easy. Alright, and then he disappears for a bit, you don't know where he is. And at this stage, you've got to watch out for some arrows, red arrows. There we go. That's all the long way around. And then you just want to hit him a couple of times. And if you can, you want to get in a shot in straight away. Ooh. And then avoid him. There we go. And then if you can, get a quick shot in before a log appears. 
hit him. You don't want to get thrown in the water. It's the last thing you want. You can survive it. I didn't quite get a shot in there. And then swerve to the right, to the left rather, to avoid him. And... Just avoided that. Nearly went the wrong way. No. Patience is the key here. There's no rush. Just get the odd hit in where you can. As long as you remain calm, it's... Once you know the sort of... The technique and... It's not too hard. And it is the first boss. And what's good is... I like how it's a bit different that it doesn't... Um, you know, you're not actually using any guns or ammo. It's what you've actually got on the boat. The sort of... Harpoon, I'm going to call it, I suppose. Yeah, so... Try and get a quick shot in. And we do. And then try and avoid him. Just about. And you've got to be ready when you do kill him in a customer cutscene. There will be a quick time event, so you've got to be ready for that. There we go. So you've got to get ready. Definitely had some bad food or something like this guy. Leon, it's been six hours since our last transmission. I was starting to get worried. Don't you mean lonely? Anyway, I still I mean, a lot of sleep. Dizzy, and then I guess I must have lost consciousness. Lost consciousness? Maybe that has some connection to what the village chief was talking about. Hmm. Can't say. But I'm alright now. I'm going to continue my mission. So it is, that was the first boss. Fairly simple. I remember the first time I did it, I, th I think I panicked and got thrown in the water a few times. Um, several deaths, I'm pretty sure. But like I say, it's just about being patient. You don't have ammo to worry about. You don't have time to worry about. Yeah, we're going to need to get rid of some of these, which we can do shortly, I think. So we are about to see one of the enemies that I mentioned, or briefly mentioned, in one of the earlier episodes where a flashbang would have a unique effect. What we want to do is get this flashbang ready and there are certain many enemies that you can insta-kill with the flashbang and a new type we will see is one of them. Here we go. So again, you could if you wanted to, to take some shots at him. I'm going to run away from this guy because his head's just exploded into another uh, creature. So there we go. 
I think we're going to use this second flashbang. You can get a proper look at it. There you go. It just destroys his head. The reason why we use that flashbang there instead of just trying to take him out is they're not worth a massive amount and I do need to free up some space from my inventory so I'm sort of killing two birds one stone. I could have tried to take him out which you can do with guns anyway. You've just got to take shots at his head and depending on the critical chance of your weapons and the power at some point you will destroy his head. Shotguns or sniper rifles they're probably some of the best weapons for that. Now before I go down here there is a guy you can see in the tower there so what I'm going to do is I think he's quite a weak enemy so I'm going to take a couple of shots at him with the pistol yeah just two shots and he's down what I'll do is I'll switch back to TMP for a couple of reasons there is an item up here somewhere there we go I think it's just a spinel spinel I still need to look that up to see how it's pronounced I would always call it spinal in my head. And in a second you'll see a couple of reasons why using the TMP and why it is a good endgame weapon. It's very useful for sort of day-to-day -day stuff. So getting me to shoot these crates down, just taking one bullet of a TMP is the best sort of ammo cost ratio you're going to get. Unless you miss a cup hook. Keep forgetting you can just shoot the box. I always aim for the actual chamber, but you can actually just aim for the box, which I don't think is as realistic. There we go. So we jump over. Now if we look over there, there's a waterfall that we need to get behind and we can't at the moment. So we're gonna go around here. There is a switch up top, but I will get this crate first, see if there's anything useful. There's nothing in it at all. And there will be a group of enemies in a moment, and I think this is where the TMP comes in real use again in terms of cost cost of kill per ammo in specific situations it's very very useful and there are two ways you can take out this group of enemy the standard way of just killing them they will obviously drop rewards potentially ammo health coins throughout the years of playing this game i always found that the best way to do this is to take them out with his least amount of bullets as possible and the least risk but you won't get any of the rewards so as you can see they're chasing me now so I'm just going to jump straight back over here now they've got to jump over here to get to me and if you shoot them once they fall in the water some of them just decide to fall in themselves and that's it I've used six bullets there because we won 20. So six bullets, I mean, even if you had a very powerful weapon like a sniper or a shotgun or and you were close range, you still wouldn't have taken them out with six bullets of those. So yeah, that's probably the best way to do it for my liking. And then we'll insert the key that we got earlier. obtained an object that resembles a cult group's insignia. Wonderful, Leon. Head back to the church. Ashley's safety is our immediate priority. So Leon's going a bit crazy with the bats. I don't harm him, but he's just uh, jerking his head around. And you'll see a familiar face here. So what we're going to do is I think we'll jump into the, the merchant shop and just see what we can sell here. So what to sell, what to sell. I think first of all we're going to sell the incendiary. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. I think we're going to sell... The three chicken eggs. Thank you. Is that all? And then obviously the stuff that's just one off things. 
it's got a nice bit of money. 200,000. Now, the, the main reason for that is because we haven't upgraded on any of our weapons. We haven't really bought any weapons apart from the TMP. So that's gone really well. No tune-ups available at the moment. And um, we've got our second boss coming up in a second. Now we're back up top where we've been before and you may have noticed when I've been through this area there's been some growling coming from somewhere so we'll see what that is in a moment and also keep an eye out for a friend that we saw at the very beginning of the first episode keep an eye out for that Well, friends like these, who needs enemies, eh? So here we go. Now, technique-wise, pretty much run. Head if you can. Gonna run again. Oh dear. Yeah. Hello, friend. Great distraction. I mean, he's going to try and kill a dog, which isn't great, but... Now, when he does this, you can either shoot him, or you can jump on his back. Which I'm going to do. And it's basically rinse and repeat. Keep doing this. Keep dodging him. I need to quickly reload the TMP while he's a little bit staggered. Hopefully the dog can distract him a little bit more. And not get squished. Oh, don't come over here. Ay, ay, ay. I seem to be running very slow. I don't know if it's just in my head. What's the dog following me for? You're supposed to be distracting him. Oh, good. Right. Actually, quickly reload whilst he's in his animation. Now, don't try and tap the button straight away until you're sure what the prompt is, because if you try and press too early, you end up, when you press the wrong button, you end up throwing you off, or squishing you or something. Just missed him there. And then what I think we'll do is, what's the ammo looking like? Uh, Don't worry about picking up stuff at the moment. Got a couple of misses there. Right, this might be the last time, I think.
there we go. We're going to pick up the goods. 15,000, a good chunk of money. And then we're just going to go around and pick up all of the items. What he can do is he can smash these down. So if you try and go in them and pick up items or hide, he will just smash those. Go and check all around and pick up all of the items. Now, what I've done off screen is I did go back to the merchant just before we completed the boss. I've sold a couple of things. And if we look in here, we actually got another couple of yellow herbs. So I've mixed those here. Sorry, we've got a yellow and a red. And I managed to combine, so we've got two of them there. So I'm going to use one of these now because our health isn't full. Now, we could use this one now and our overall health would go up. But again, if you are trying to min-max or just do things the best way possible, you want to wait until you take some damage. And the next time you need to heal, use that first. And what we're doing now is we're heading back to the church where we will eventually meet Ashley. He was obviously the, the president's daughter who we're trying to save. Now, gotta be careful here. Now, if you've got a sniper here, it's great. But, let's see here, it's a bit hard to aim from this distance, as you can see. Right, got a bit of a fight there, actually. Get a shotgun ready. Okay, Mr. Doggo, and there's some more coming. Just clipped him the first time, and the second, and the third. Must have got lucky with that first shot. Now, I think there is one more. I feel bad shooting him. Ah. Okay, I don't feel so bad now. Some items do reappear, so you've got to watch out. If you've been in areas before, do a quick, a quick sweep. Is that, uh, that nest back? We're going to head inside the church and have a look for Ashley. So just to let you know, I've done a quick sweep on the bottom floor of the church just to pick up a couple of items. We're going to head up top. And there's going to be another puzzle, which... I'm sure I always get wrong. So first of all, you have to jump over here and swing and then jump straight away. So the puzzle itself, I always forget, but the best way to remember it is just two, three, one. So you've got to change red twice, green three times, and blue once. And then you combine them together and it should work. There we go. And here's the door for Ashley. Ashley. Don't come. Hey, take it easy. No, get away. Calm down. Everything's going to be just fine. My name's Leon. I'm under the president's order to rescue you. What? My father? That's right. And I have to get you out of here. Now come with me. It's Leon. I've succeeded in extricating my subject. Good work, Leon. I'll send a chopper over right away. Where's the extraction point? There's another trail that you can take to get out of the village. The chopper will pick you up beyond there. Got it. I'm on my way. So as you can see, Ashley's actually in a suit of armor. That's because at the start of the game, we selected special costume two. So obviously you get Leon in this nice dapper sort of, what, 1920s, 1930s sort of uh, gangster type suit, um, mafia suit, suit of armor. The reason why I chose it is because it actually has an in-game benefit. So Ashley as a follower, obviously one of the main things is you have to keep her safe. Enemies will try and attack her. They will also try and carry her away. And in certain scenarios, enemies can actually take her out of like the load zone. It's instant game over if they do that. And there's some situations where it's tricky. I mean, I've obviously completed it, the game many times with her just in a normal sort of attire without the armor suit on. With the armor suit, if they try and lift her, it's too heavy with the suit. So they drop her. And also she's pretty much invincible, so she can't take damage. So decide whether you know you would want to do that on your playthrough. I believe to unlock it, you have to complete one of the the sort of the side missions, the DLC. I think it's the Ada side mission that you have to complete separate ways, I think it's called. I could be wrong, that could unlock something else, but you can look at it online. But um you have to do that first, and then the next time you start a new game, you can choose the special suit. What we're going to do is we're just going to jump down here and then we're going to catch Ashley which 
That's a different animation when she's got a suit on because she's heavier. You can see he struggles to get up there. I'll take the girl. Who are you? If you must know, my name is Osman Sadler, the master of this fine religious community. What do you want? To demonstrate to the whole world our astounding power, of course. No longer will the United States think they can police the world forever. So, we kidnap the president's daughter in order to give her our power and then send her back. No. Leon, I think they shot something in my neck. What did you do to her? We just planted her a little gift. Oh, there's going to be one hell of a party when she returns home to her loving father. <laughs> but before that, I thought I might bargain with the president for some donation. Believe it or not, it takes quite a lot of money to keep this church up and running. Faith in money will lead you nowhere, Sadler. Oh, I believe I forgot to tell you that we gave you the same gift. When I was unconscious. Oh, I truly hope you like our small but special contributions. When the eggs hatch, you will become my puppets. Involuntarily, you'll do as I say. I'll have total control over your mind. Don't you think this is a revolutionary way to promulgate one's faith? Sounds more like an alien invasion if you ask me. <laughs> you okay? Uh, Leon, what's gonna happen to us? Don't worry. We got into this mess, we can get out of it. And there you go, that was the end of another chapter there. We're going to continue on for a bit. There is a specific point which I think will end the episode when we get to it. So if you see here, if we shoot this... And uh, if you shoot them when they're about to blow fire to warn to you... Which he didn't try and do, I thought what he would. They actually pretty much blow themselves up. Ah, he's going to turn into uh, I forgot what they're called. Wow, that was lucky. Um, that was just strangely good RNG there. And there are some further enemies around. You can actually l sort of lure the enemies towards Ashley as well. Now, because she's unrunnable, you can order her to stay by using R1 and PlayStation. Wait. So you can keep her there. And then if enemies go towards here, they'll try and pick her up or fall over. And they're pretty much vulnerable at that stage, if you want to do it that way. And we're going to jump down. We'll be in safety for now, but not for long. And as you can see, we're back at the merchant before we go outside. Got some new things. So this is the gun we wanted, the Red 9. So the reason why I didn't op upgrade the handgun, which you can do if you feel like you're struggling and you need a bit more firepower or capacity or whatever, by all means, upgrade the handgun. I would recommend not doing so, because I think the game is very manageable without the upgrade until this point. I'm going to sell the handgun. And we're going to buy a Red 9. And this is a very, very powerful, fairly slow at first, but very powerful handgun. So we are going to have to mix things around here, so I'll come back in a moment once I've rearranged. So I've also bought the stock for the Red 9. It's very similar to the TMP. Just absorbs the recoil, it's easier to, to aim, etc. And there are some what upgrades. Are I think we'll upgrade the firepower of the Red strength? 9. Is that all? Firing speed, is that all? reload. We've just bought it, so it will be full. We're going to leave the capacity for now. Remember that trick I mentioned in previous episodes? You want to wait until the gun is either completely out of ammo, actually loaded into the gun, or almost, you know, as low down as you can get. And then when you increase capacity, it will reload the weapon fully along with the additional upgrade. So in this case, it would upgrade it to 10. 
you were at full capacity, it would only go from eight to ten, so you get two free bullets. If you wait till it's empty, you get ten free bullets, and that can be long term. That can be a big ammo saver. So we're going to leave that for now. TMP, we've only got a few bullets left, so we will increase the capacity. Now that will be a massive one hundred. So we're going to get about around about. Uh, we have a look there. We've got twelve in the clip, so we're going to get eighty-eight ammo free rather than just the 50 if it was full. <laughs> I will increase the firepower as well. Thank you. So I've left the merchant now. I'll just quickly show you. I've tidied up a little bit. We've got, um, yeah, not much space. We've got the stock here, which is, yeah, it is equipped to that, to the, the Red Nine. We are coming to the end of, of the chapter soon, and I think the merchant will be in the next area as well. So. We may have to sell some pieces, maybe some of the grenades, maybe some of the eggs, but they are useful for, for healing. So we are going to head back outside and enemies will have respawned in the sort of the, the village area. So we are going to have to make a quick dash for it. We could stay and fight. Ashley's pretty much safe, but I think we'll make a dash. There are some traps on the floor, so watch out for those. So yes, as you can see, enemies, well you can hear so far, enemies are back now. Scary eyes. I am going to shoot this just in case I have to backtrack. I'm going to take her legs out. I'm going to take his legs out. Wait till he's on fire. Now she's trapped but she won't take any damage. And again, if they try and pick her up, they're going to have a hard job doing it. That was lucky. I didn't... That wasn't so lucky. And again, we'll get a bit of RNG luck with this. Yeah, that's fairly lucky. Maybe not being the best with ammo here, but... Nice. And then we'll head through to the next bit. And again, if, if you didn't have the arm on her, you can tell Ashley to hide in these, which is really, really useful. So we are going through this area again. Enemies have respawned. Bear in mind that some of them, the parasite can take over their head when their head pops. So you get those enemies, which are a little bit harder to kill. I think we'll go for this guy first because we can just quickly rush in and hopefully just slice him to death. Yep, his head didn't burst. That's good. was poor. Um, I think we'll... I think... Oh dear. Right, we're going to backtrack here a little bit. Get two and one here. And then I think we will throw, throw a flashbang. I think we'll go around the back way. But he was not coming from behind us, was it? Again, that animation, you know he's going to try and blow the fire, so you just wait until the last second and he will destroy himself. Let's go up here. Now, there will be enemies up here, so and I think one of them might be guaranteed to have a parasite head. Got a bit of a shock there. I think she might be the one that's going to. Oh no, she's not. I thought she was. Now what we could do is because we did take some a little bit of damage earlier, we're going to use this now to increase our overall health. Now what you can do, you have to be a little bit patient, but you can just wait at the top of the ladders. You can just stand here and keep slicing them down. There we go. See. And as you can see, this is the door that we couldn't use before because it was too tall. But now we can because of Ashley. And there's several scenarios in the game where you need Ashley to get to certain areas and you might not have Ashley at the time. I don't want to give too many spoilers away. Now we've reached the merchant after that door and a pretty difficult part depending on how you play it, what level of difficulty you're playing on, what upgrades you've made too. So the fact that we've got the red nine 
and the TMP pretty much fully upgraded for what we can for now, that's great. Leon, I have some bad news. I'd rather not hear it. Well, I'm afraid I have to tell you anyway. We've lost contact with the chopper. Someone must have shot it down, though we can't determine who. Great. We're prepping another chopper for you. Meanwhile, I want you to head towards the extraction point. Got it. Yeah. So, hope you've got plenty of ammo at this point, that's all I'll say. There's some questionable dialogue in this. I'm not sure how old Ashley is supposed to be, but she's clearly very young. Perhaps the young lady might want to introduce herself first before asking someone his name. Her name's Ashley Graham, the president's daughter. Is she? Well, you know. Don't worry. She's cool. Eh, never mind. There's supposed to be some kind of obvious symptom before you turn into one of them anyway. Look! I do like how we've seen these before, and um, we've just stopped to have a chat, and then forgot about all of the uh, Ganados heading towards us. So what I would suggest is barricading the windows, but what a lot of people do is barricade all of the windows. I would recommend not doing that. Um, I would say barricade one, and sorry, two, leaving one open and purposely going for these ones straight away. Now this guy will actually throw items towards you so you can pick them up. Sporadic points and obviously he'll help, he'll help you out. He's got a red nine as well which is great. So I'm going to leave him to it. Maybe save on some bullets. Flash grenades will come in a lot of use. If you've got any, and he may throw the odd one up to you as well. So again, see, because we're filtering through here, there's still some coming trying to bash through and they will make their way in. We're just, um... Yeah. Now they have made their way through, so I'm going to move up here a little bit. There are two, so I'm going to use a flashbang because if there's two, it's definitely worth it. I think we might want to start using the red nine. And it helps if I uh, actually hit. Now, we haven't got a flashbang, but we have got a shotgun. That's good. We managed to get him in two shotgun shots, which is. Uh, Probably above average the hit rate. Oh shit, I just realised I uh maybe a bit of waste of ammo there. Not really, actually. Um but realised I hadn't loaded the shotgun. So I will load that now. Now they will stay down here at the moment until you get a call from Upstairs. Yep, just as I said it. So now they're going to start coming in but from the bottom, but also from the top as well. So let's grab this flashbang and now there are ladders here so you can push them down but they'll sort of crawl the way back up again. Right, what we'll do is we'll throw that flashbang. That'll get rid of those. Might even throw an incendiary to there. I'm gonna push this down. Just try and remain calm. Um, just easy said than done. 
don't let them surround you too much. You know, you have got help. We don't want to leave him completely to himself. Again, we'll just push this down. So at least we know they can't come from that area if we keep that one pushed. Now they're coming through here. So just push that ladder down. Take any items he give you if you can. Push that down. That was unlucky. Like you're not being surrounded. We do need a reload, but we'll push this down first just in case. But there we go. After a certain amount of time or a certain amount of enemies, I'm not 100% sure what triggers it. That will just end. So you've just got to survive for a few minutes. Like off. So, what do we do now? The bridge I crossed to get here is out. So I guess we have no choice but to keep moving. I forgot something. You guys go on ahead. Lewis. So what I've done is I've just gone through the house, I've mopped up all of the items, there's a couple outside as well, been to the merchant, sold a few things, there's no tune-ups available. Now the next section is really interesting because there are actually three options, um, technically there's two, but there's actually two ways you can go and they're both locked at the moment. You can go right, you can go left, which is in this sort of a uh, little bit more busy area here. And then again, you can get to the save point and go to the next bay. So you can either go left or right, but if you are trying to min-max and get as many sort of items and make as much money as possible, you can actually do both. So you can go the right way and then you can actually sort of head back, then head the left way or the other way around. I think on this one, we'll only go one route. And what you do is you actually choose by here. So you decide which way you're gonna go. I'm gonna go the right way, just because I think personally this is um, maybe the easier way. Maybe not. I'm not really sure. There's an item I missed yet. So yeah, we'll go the right way and then um, another boss coming up. Leon! Yeah, so what you can do is head back here and... to hit him there, put some bullets in him, and then we'll try and, oh dear, that was certainly not perfect, <laughs> but again similar to the first one, what you want to do is jump on his back, make sure you're hitting the right button as quickly as you can, Sounds a little bit trapped here. But hit him going for Ashley is not a bad thing. Because he can't hit her. This time it's square rather than X. And I'm actually gonna go this way instead. So there's a little bit more space here. And what are we looking like for ammo? I'm gonna try and use the red nines a bit slower. It's more powerful. Can we dodge him? No, we can't. And what we'll do is, oh, we are a bit slow here. Now, whilst he's got uh, Ashley, Seems a bit cruel, cool, doesn't it? I know it doesn't hurt her, but I am going to heal up a little bit. This should be the last time. And it is. Is it? Yeah. Follow me. And you can, if you're close, you can dodge out of the way, but. But there we go, that's the boss. Again, by no means did I complete that perfectly. As you can see, got hurt twice, but I've got plenty of eggs on me now. 
So we're just going to run through here. There are plenty of items that I can pick up. You just, you know, loot the place. You can actually open these doors when the, the, the ogre is chasing you. And I think he knocks this down. You can chase him through here. And then he smashes these down. There's another rock there. So I don't normally do that for some reason. It probably is a good way to, to stall him. But we're just going to run through, pick up the items and get to the end. But yeah, you get to the end. You pick up a key in one of those sort of shed hut things. And you can unlock this door. We also did find a purple gem in there, so we can, oops, we can combine this with the mask. So that just frees up a bit of space. We still need the yellow for the beer stein. And I've just looted this house here. There's a few bits and pieces in there. There's a save point. There's a merchant here, so I'm going to have a look to see if there's a much I can sell. I think I need to free up a bit of space actually, so we'll have a quick look. Welcome. We are going to tune up the red nine. Now, we did still have four bullets left in it out of the eight that we could have, so we haven't gained the full amount that we could by using that trick, but again, like I say, I'm not trying to completely min-max what this. Selling? What we'll do is we'll sell the rifle ammo as well, just for now, because we're not using it. Just trying to think if we need. I'm going to sell the incendiary and the hand grenade. We are going to need a bit of space soon, and I'll explain why. And what we'll do is our health isn't quite full, going to use this now again to free up some space too. But I think what we'll do is we'll call it an episode there. We'll have got some big battles coming up in the near future, another boss as well. And then we're going to be looking at a new area after we've got all of that clear. So join me for episode four next time. Please hit that like button if you did enjoy the video. Think about dropping a comment as well. You know, have you played this game before? Have you got any comments about the playthrough so far? Any tips you've got? I'm, I'm pretty sure I know most of the tips in this game. Maybe some of them I haven't touched on yet. If you have got any, please drop them down below. It may help others. It may even help me. But yeah, I'll see you all next time. Cheers.